girl Anna. <laughs> that's, oh wait, sorry, sorry, I just hit her in the head. But anyways, uh, we we're filming like a really super cool, fun video today. I haven't seen anyone do this before. I had the idea and I was like, I gotta do that. And I asked my girl Anna and she was so down. Yes. You're down, right? Yes, I'm down. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a McDonald's taco. You heard me right, McDonald's taco. I mean, everyone just hear this, McDonald's taco. McDonald's taco. So what we're gonna do is we are going to go buy some taco shells and then we're also gonna go to McDonald's and we're just gonna buy items there that would make up a taco because McDonald's doesn't actually sell tacos. All right, so let's go try to find a taco shell. Woohoo! store called Rabbi yeah and we finally found some hard shells and they aren't even that expensive either they're 329 let's see if I can get these without knocking things over <laughs> got it <laughs> so right now we are walking to the McDonald's and we're just kind of having a chit chat about what items we need so we need tomatoes, lettuce, ground beef, cheese. We might do like a ground beef one and then also a fish one. Or... Oh, the Big Mac sauce. Oh yeah, so we need some sort of sauce and I'm pretty sure McDonald's doesn't have salsa. I think they might have guacamole now, so we're gonna try for that. But if yeah. not, we're just gonna use a Big Mac sauce. <laughs> and and we need sour cream, but I don't think we have sour they cream. They might, so yeah, they probably don't. Video. Yeah, I feel like you could probably do bacon, but that's not very traditional. Yeah. Cause I want I want there to be enough stuff inside the taco. Like I don't want it to just be like very minimal and like <laughs> minimalist taco, yeah. very on trend. But yeah. maybe not. Probably doesn't taste good. Hey okay, guys, so we finally found a McDonald's. We're just in line. You know, we're contemplating what we're gonna get. It kind of looks like a smaller McDonald's though, so I hope that they have all the regular stuff. McDonald's. So we're still trying to figure out what we need to pick from the value menu. And it keeps changing. Yes. I love the sound of a McDonald's bag. Okay, you guys, we just picked up all the ingredients for this video. I'm super stoked. I'm kind of interested to see how this is going to turn out. But it ended up costing, I think, 12 something. And then the shells were about three something. So it wasn't too bad. Not too bad, not too bad. I'm having a really sad moment right now because by the time we get to my place, the food is gonna be cold and I never just buy McDonald's and not eat it. Yeah. I genuinely enjoy McDonald's a lot, so it's really paining me that I can't eat this stuff in the bag. Today's notification shout out goes to this person. So thank you so much, you are awesome. If you guys wanna be featured in the next video, all you have to do is turn on my post notifications, just tap that bell right beside the subscribe button and then just leave a comment saying that you've done so. Hey guys, so we just arrived back from McDonald's, from the grocery store, we got our supplies, and my friend Anna here is going to help me out with everything, and her channel is called... There she goes! I do like a lot of fashion, vintage, thrift hauls, lookbooks, all that fun jazz, so if you like that, you can check out the channel. Alright, so the first thing that we have here are these taco shells, and these are the ones that stand up on its own, so that's pretty dope. And then we got some stuff from Mickey D's, McDonald's. Um, we got some stuff from the Value My Menu. <laughs> Low key, your favorite store. So we got a bunch My of stuff. Store. Yeah, everything's cheap because you know I don't really want to be spending five grand at McDonald's. So first we have four chicken nuggets. I haven't seen this packaging Ooh. before. That's so cute. It's so tiny. I right? love that. Oh my god, it smells so good. And then we got some Caesar salad, you know, for oh, wow. the lettuce and the stuff for the tacos. That's actually really cute. I haven't yeah. seen this before. I think it was only two something. And then the next thing we have, oh, these are just croutons to go with the salad. Then we get some sauce, so like Big Mac sauce, and I think like I think barbecue it's just, sauce. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. we well. got barbecue sauce. It's like we're doing like a mukbang or something. I know, right? Which I'm actually totally into, so leave a comment down below if you guys would want to see that. But then we also just got a few fries. You wanna try one? They're cool. I actually don't like them. You don't like them? <laughs> and then, you know, we just got some napkins in case we spill anything. More some sauce. Caesar dressing. Is that everything? Oh, we got something else too. Oh, you wanna say it? It's I'll say it while you pull it out. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. 
Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. What, what? Excited for this one, why did I just do that? <laughs> All right you guys, so the first step to a taco is obviously getting the shells. Do you wanna do the honors? Yes. Ooh. So we have enough stuff to make two tacos, so we're gonna make one chicken one, and then we're gonna make one ground beef one. So maybe we'll start off with the ground beef, just because that's kind of the regular taco. So for the first step, we're gonna need to open up the cheeseburger, and then we're just gonna get the burger part and put it into here. Are you excited to try this? I'm excited, there's something so different. It's gonna be super weird. Oh my god. Oh, wow, that thin. is really thin. I knew that the value menu burgers were really small, yeah. but that is just topping it. It's like a little kid's burger. <laughs> Ooh, there's like ketchup and you want this in here? Maybe not the pickles. I'm gonna fold it. Oh damn, I didn't think about doing it that way. That's smart. <laughs> I was just gonna say that we don't have any lettuce, but oh. I realized that we picked this up, so thank God that we did. Does bacon go in tacos? I mean, I guess we can for this one because it's a McDonald's Why one. Why not? Okay, how is it looking? Is it looking it yummy? gourmet at all? This is actually gonna be really, really interesting. What kind of sauce should we use for this one? The Let's Big Mac see. sauce? Yeah, I wanna do the Big Mac sauce. Okay, so then they also have these little pieces of cheese in here, so we're gonna use some of it. Okay, this actually isn't looking that bad. Yeah, this right? actually looks really good. I'm excited to taste it with the Big Mac sauce because I honestly don't know what to expect. I feel like this has literally never been done. I don't think anybody has done this before. We are the first ones. Like, I'm about to contact Ripley. <laughs> Do you have his email or should I Google it? Oh my god. It doesn't look bad, eh? Yeah. The final thing that we have to do is we have to add some fries. All right, so taco number one is done. We are totally stoked to eat that, but there isn't just one type of taco. Mm -hmm. There's not just one. There's probably a billion. We ended up going with chicken. We bought some chicken nuggets. <laughs> All right, so first step of the chicken taco, we're just gonna add in some chicken nuggets. I'm kind of just pulling it apart. But real talk, why doesn't McDonald's have tacos? That's a good question. We should ask McDonald's that, or maybe you guys can ask McDonald's. Yeah, tweet McDonald's. Yeah. Why no tacos though? Cause that like would that. be fun. That would be really good, like a ground beef or chicken taco. And it's so easy for them because clearly they have all the ingredients cause that's what yeah. we're doing here. So now we're gonna add some more lettuce. Yo, I feel like I have a cooking show or something. <laughs> Welcome to my cooking show. What should it be called? Savannah and salt? Savannah and salt? Yeah, because salt? Like salt is the most well-known seasoning. Okay. Savannah and salt. Savannah and, and like salty Savannah. Salty yeah. Savannah, I like that. Yeah. This is surprising, eh? Guys, we're like gourmet chefs now. I know, okay, so now we're adding in the cheese and the bacon. Okay, now we're gonna go for the barbecue sauce here, you guys. The barbecue sauce. Okay. <laughs> it's okay because I have another barbecue sauce right here. I'm prepared on salt with Savannah. Here is the final product. Wow! This oh actually gosh. looks like they could be sold at McDonald's. Yeah, seriously. It's really not that bad. You guys, this is what the tacos look like up close, and I swear these actually really don't look that bad. Yeah. Like if I was over at someone's house and they were serving tacos, I would not second guess these. Barbecue sauce is not bad, it tastes good. Right? It's like really not that bad. Oh, cheers. So we forgot to put fries on it. Oh boy. What do you think about it? Mmm. <laughs> right? That's actually not bad. It just tastes like, like a taco. Like chicken, yeah. I know. Like the yeah, barbecue right? sauce kind of goes with it. I feel like there's not a lot of ground beef in this one though because oh, the patty was so small. Yeah. That was literally the smallest hamburger I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, that was like for a kid. <laughs> oh wow, I'm tasting ketchup and mustard and it's weird. This one isn't as good. Oh. I think it needs our Big Mac sauce. I'm actually kind of scared now after your reaction. Cheers. Like it tastes like a, not though. It tastes like a hamburger taco. It just honestly that's what it tastes like. I taste the hamburger like the Which is weird because ground beef is essentially what a taco is, oh. but it still tastes like a hamburger though. And I do taste the mustard. All right, you guys, that was a really interesting experiment. Please let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to do videos similar to this because I honestly have a lot of different ideas in my head with like different fast food places. So we actually made a video on Anna's channel that is quite different to this. We did kind of like a come thrifting with me video. So this is pretty much like a vloggy style type oh of Oh my God. <laughs> My behavior, my actions, you know, they aren't out of character. I enjoy elbowing catches, I don't know about you, but it's definitely a hobby of mine. 
So on my channel, we actually did a come thrifting with me video. So if you guys don't know what that is, it's pretty much like a vloggy style type of video where we go into the thrift store and just try on some stuff and check out the store. I had a really fun time. I hope you did too. I did, like just yeah. so much fun. It was like we went to a theme park or something. <laughs> so, uh, so that will be linked down below. If you want to see that, you can definitely check out my channel. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye! Bye!